Arsenal Fan TV, welcome along to this. We're going to be unboxing the brand new away kit for Arsenal season 2015 16. Check it out. First of all, loving the box here. You know, I love this presentation box. You won't um, unfortunately get this when you buy it from the shops. But um, this is sort of a special edition one that they've given us from Puma. Well, the, the box is, the shirt is going to be the same. So, and uh, check this out. This is, this is uh, really cool. Listen to this. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I like that. All right, listen. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, right? It's all right. Lovely presentation boxes and stuff like that. But is the shirt any good? We're going to find out. Uh, first of all, I have to say, remember, we did the, the unboxing for the home kit. And you will know from that video that I really like that kit. Um, away kits... Uh, always a bit trickier because with away kits, um, you've got to be creative a lot of the times. Sometimes you're going against the traditional colours. You know, with a home kit, it's going to be red with uh, white sleeves. So more or less, we sort of got an idea what it's going to be looking like. But with an away kit, you can be a bit more adventurous. And they've been pretty adventurous on this kit. And um, I must say, I really, really like it. Let's check it out. It's gold, first of all, as you can see from the colours. Uh, a gold design, gold, with a sort of dark blue here. Uh, gold trim. The Puma signs embroidered on in gold. Uh, here, embroidered on in blue. I like the neck. I prefer the neck to last season's um, yellow kit. It was one of the things I weren't too happy with was the neckline on it, but I think they've really nailed it on this one. I like the, the way they've done the neck. It's not too wide. And again, they've got um, what they say, that technology here and along here and under the arms, which um, is sort of like allows you to, um, your body to breathe and to sweat um, and for you not to, you know, get too soaked out whilst wearing the shirt. The gold color, of course, when uh, you'll all remember the classic gold Sega kit, um, of course, now it's Emirates, but the Gold Sega kit, um, and we won the league that season, you'll remember. So let's hope this is a good omen, but I really like it. One of the things I really like about it and where they've been very adventurous is the diamonds here. Uh, I love that. I absolutely love how they've done these diamonds. It's very unique. You don't really see that um, on a shirt. And as well as, you know, it's a sort of football shirt you could buy and you can wear casually with your clothes. I mean, especially with the like the sort of dark blue, it drops really, really nice with your jeans. And it's again, got a kind of classic feel to it, but very, very stylish. And it's adventurous because, you know, some fans might say, well, you know what? I just want my kit to be, my away kit to be just yellow. So they've been pretty adventurous with it, but I think they've done a fantastic job with those diamonds. The uh, badge is uh, that heat transfer badge on, which of course, as I've said before, it doesn't come off or anything. You know, you can wash it a hundred times, it won't come off. However, there are some fans that prefer the original embroidered badge and say, you know, if you're embroidering on the Puma signs, why can't you embroider on the badge? But they've stuck with the heat transfer badge. And uh, again, that's my only little downside when it comes to this kit is, is the heat transfer badge. I'd love them to bring back that embroidered badge, but hey, that's their style. Let's uh, take a look at the back. Again, on the back, you've got the diamonds um, flowing down in gold. I love it. Uh, blue sleeves, again. Um, again, you see the little trim coming down here which I like, the blue trim cut in, um, the way it's tapered down right to the bottom. And then you've got this uh, sort of like similar to the home kit where 
to the bottom of it, it's tapered off in, uh, in blue this time. On the home kit, it was tapered off in white. It's tapered off in blue. Again, I would have liked it to just have gone like this all the way down. That's what I would have... My preference would have been all the way... I, I love the diamond so much, I would have loved it to have gone all the way down. But I'm not going to complain, I suppose... Uh, for the football element, for the players playing, you know what I mean? It adds a bit more trim and identifies them out um, when they're playing against different teams. But, you know, the back is nice. The back is nice. The front is nice. It's nice and lightweight. And what I can say for this kit is that it's very, very stylish, very, very fashionable. From the feedback that I've got from a lot of fans so far, it's been very positive and, you know, that's saying something, you know, that uh, fans sometimes we don't like change and it's a change from our yellow kits that we've had over the years, but fans are loving this gold and I think that this kit is actually, and it, it, this is my personal opinion, is actually, I prefer this to the home kit and I love the home kit. So I've got to say well done again to Puma, you've done a great job. On this kit um, I think this is gonna fly out and could this be a great omen a gold kit let's hope the lads can wear this kit and this can be an iconic kit in years to come when we win the league all right, all right big up Claude and Ty keep those debates going bruv trust me that's the best post Arsenal entertainment ever keep right, it up who are you behind you know what like Claude is a realist 